When I imagine a healthy London, I imagine a London full of people who are able to enjoy life to the fullest, regardless of their background or their socio-economic position, where people are enjoy able to enjoy healthy lifestyles and eat good food. A healthy London for me looks like a place where we feel our uh, mental well-being and where everyone recognises our mental well-being is just as important uh, as our physical health. Well, it looks like a place where young families would want to raise their children, where older adults, when they move to retirement, would want to stay because it's a place where you can get out in the streets and move around safely. You can have destination places to go to where you can get um, have a place to sit and some uh, clean air to breathe and some healthy food to eat. And, um, and you have a, a, a vibrant, creative community that's a real destination and an icon for the country and for the world as a whole. The mayor needs to deal with um, the proliferation of fast food outlets that we've got, um, betting shops and the way that alcohol is licensed and promoted because these are key things that are affecting Londoners' health and I believe more could be done. If we looked at the education the way it's delivered and looked at the curriculum and maybe tried to include health in what we're actually teaching them. One thing that can make young people healthier is to know what they're eating, to make them aware about cooking and things that they're putting into their food. Manufacturers should actually manufacture good, healthy, nutritious foods. If we educate the kids at an earlier age and also take away the chicken shops, too many chicken shops are around the, the schools. The healthy food should be cheaper and the fatty food should be more expensive because at the moment it's the other way around. People should laugh more, smile more, it's healthier for your body. And to walk a lot more, do more exercise and eat healthy. We need more access to gym facilities, they need to build on what they did with the 2012 Games, get more schools involved in sport after school clubs, making sure there's healthy fruit for young children, putting on more clubs and sports where possible. And there should be more youth clubs uh, where you can get out and about and play sports together and free mangoes because they're the best. <laughs> Millions of pounds on older people going in and out of hospital and children, 70% uh, of which have either asthmatic tendencies or full-blown asthma, do something about cleaning up the air in London and do it fairly quickly. Air pollution, well, it should be improved so we could travel to central London and uh, without worrying about that. <laughs> so it's important for, for babies and for all of us, isn't it? I think there should be more trans London transport for local people to use. More people talking to each other in, in public space for feeling free enough to exchange ideas and start doing things. Improve the local amenities and the facilities and the parks, swimming tokens, get them out of their houses and doing stuff. One thing they can do is to manage their health better, but that's not going to happen until the structures and the systems of healthcare delivery are made more accessible. People able to engage with the services they need when they need them, um, and actually local in their neighbourhoods. All Londoners need to have quick, easy access to general practice. They need to be able to register with a GP of their choice in the area where they live. There's difficulty at the moment with people who are in temporary accommodation, um, renting, etc. If they can't prove where they live, they can't register with GPs. One could see homeless people as casualties of a deeply unequal, unfair society. And the biggest thing which I think would change things would be to narrow the gap between rich and poor in our city. And that would lead to a fairer society for everyone, but also a society more willing to help the people at the bottom. I think if the Mayor were to do one thing, um, helping people be healthier in London, it would be to help facilitate the relationship that the private sector, the public sector and the voluntary sector have together. Only by solving problems together will they actually make any long-term behavioural change and encourage Londoners to have healthier lives. Emphasising the partnerships between different organisations so to find great ways of bringing it all at the same table and working together. I think I've learned today what an incredibly complex subject health in London is and there's so many possible ways of tackling it 
really it's going to require an awful lot of people, a lot of stakeholders to work together to actually change things and improve the health of London.